Jamie, a children's librarian with Tacoma Public Library. I'm here today to share a story with you that is on the Ready, Set, Read Tacoma reading list. If you would like more information about the Ready, Set, Read Tacoma program, please click the link in the YouTube description below. This story is available as an ebook. You can explore many ebooks with your Tacoma Library card using Libby and Hoopla. If you'd like more information on how to access those ebooks, please reach out to the library and we'd be glad to help you. This story is called Look Where We Live, and it is written by an author named Scott Ritchie. I hope you enjoy this story. Look Where We Live, a first book of community building, written by Scott Ritchie. Celebrate the community. Our friends are ready for an adventure. They are going to have lots of fun and help their community. Today is the street fair to raise money for more books and computers for the local library. Do you play in a park near your home or go to a school in your neighborhood? Maybe your friend lives in your building or on your block. These places are all part of your community. A community is a group of people living together in one area. You live in a community. Let's see all of our friends here. We have Nick and Yuli and Pedro and Sally and Martin and Max and a cat named Ollie. And all the different buildings in the community. There's homes and a retirement home and a gas station. Here's the rest of the town on the map. Oh, look, there's the library. Shopping locally. The gang's first stop is Nick's house. His family is raising money for the library by selling things they no longer want or need. People call this a yard sale, garage sale, or lawn sale. Nick has put out some toys he doesn't play with anymore. If he can sell all his dinosaurs, he can make four dollars. Nick will donate the money he makes. Donating means you give something to help a good cause. You can donate money, things, or your time. And there the friends are saying, where next? Some place with ice cream. Cool treats. Pedro loves going to Alita's ice cream shop. He knows he has to wait his turn because some people got here before he did. It's okay, ice cream is always worth the wait. But it looks like somebody forgot that you have to line up. Can you see who jumped ahead? Ollie knows that pets aren't allowed in restaurants, so he is happy to wait outside with his friends. Oh, see, there's the doggy jumped up to the front of the line. Make a splash. Next stop is Amir's gas station. This is where Yuli brings her bike when her tires need air. Today, Amir is having a car wash party. He wants to thank the people who come to his garage. All the money he makes will go to the library. This child has a sign that says, Honk if you love books! People in the neighborhood like to use Amir's gas station because he does a great job and because he is part of their community. Oh, look, everybody is helping and washing the cars. Oh, look at Max the dog having fun. Community cleanup. Uh-oh, look at the litter on the ground. Martin wants to do his part by cleaning up. He gathers paper, cans, and bottles for recycling. Soon, everybody is pitching in. B 
Being part of a community means helping to keep it clean and looking nice. Can you think of ways that you can help keep your community clean? Grab a paintbrush. This is Sally's school. Art is one of her favorite classes because she loves to paint. Look at all the people in the community who love to paint too. Friends and neighbors are working together to make a giant mural. Part of what makes a community is celebrating all the people who make it. Working and playing together help make a community strong. Young and old, painting is hard work. It's time for a break. Sally knows where people are selling lemonade as part of the fair. Sally's grandfather lives in this retirement home. She loves to visit him here because everybody has great stories to tell. Do you have an older relative who lives near you? People who live in a retirement home have lived a long time. They are an important part of the community. Oh, look at the silly doggy. A quick stop. Pedro has to make a quick stop at the library to return some books. And he has another reason. He drank too much lemonade. Public buildings usually have restrooms for people to use. Libraries are an important part of the community. You can go there to read and borrow books, use the computer, or do homework with your friends. And libraries often have bulletin boards with information about local events. Watch your garden grow. Martin wants to visit the community garden, where people share a large piece of land to grow flowers and vegetables. Lots of people in the neighborhood have a garden here. It's a great way to make friends. Today, some people are selling what they have grown. They are going to donate the money they earn to the library. In a community garden, you can grow your own food. What would you grow? Beans? Tomatoes? Pumpkins? Goal! Yuli likes gardening, but she wants to keep moving. Some of her friends are playing a special soccer game today, and she wants to watch. But who's that four-legged player on the field? Being on a team is a lot like living in a community. You have the most fun when you treat others fairly and work together. Community Workers Nick wants to make another stop at the police station. Police officers help keep a community safe by making sure everyone obeys the law. They also help people who are lost, hurt, or afraid. Today, they're handing out safety whistles as part of the street fair. There are many other kinds of community workers, such as crossing guards, sanitation workers, firefighters, and paramedics. Can you think of other jobs people do to make your community safe and run smoothly? Make your own community. When you find a group of people who like what you like, that's a kind of community too. It doesn't matter if you're young or old, experienced or new to something, you can make your community better by joining in. How about creating your own community? What do you like to do? Swim? Dance? Speak another language? Everybody join in. What a great street fair. All the kids are helping out now, but where did they go? Can you find them? There's no limit to the things you can do to help build your community. What are some ways you can help the people around you? Make a puzzle. There are so many parts to a community, 
but somehow they all fit together, kind of like the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Follow these steps to make a puzzle picture of your community. And here are some words to know. We read about communities, community gardens, community workers. If you would like to read the story again and have a closer look at those craft instructions or the words that we learned, you can check this book out on Hoopla with your Tacoma Library card.